Flats Class YouTube, Captain CA here, and I've got some tarpon how-to for you. I've been tarpon fishing, and tarpon fishing for me is typically beach fishing or shallow pass fishing. Not the deep passes, but the shallower passes where you can float crabs. Uh, I have behind me a live crab rig uh, that we use uh, quite often, and then I have an artificial Z-Man kicker crab rig. And I wanna show that to you right now. I'm gonna show you a little bit of underwater footage, if you will, from the other day in the swimming pool so that you can see how this crab really looks like the real McCoy. And then we're gonna talk about it right here in two minutes. Go watch this. Pretty cool footage when you get to see it from the fish's or the tarpon's perspective. But let me show you the rig. The rig is quite simple. <clears throat> I've got a Terramar Double X. This is a uh, seven and a half foot. It is a medium heavy extra fast rod. Now I could throw it on my on my extra heavy rod, but I'm not going to be nearly as accurate. This is a lot of fun to catch the beach fish with. Got it mated up with a 6,000 Saragossa. Um, and it is adequate for most beach tarpon fishing. Yes, you're gonna have uh, a lot of fun with this rig and you're gonna have to really fight the fish, but it's a ton of fun because you got so much accuracy. Now what I have is about seven feet a liter. So I've got a good, I'm gonna say five and a half feet of 40 pound fluorocarbon. And then I blood knotted, if you will, this little blood knot, about another 18 to 20 inches of 50 pound fluorocarbon to this, as you saw in the video, this little rig right here. Now, this rig is pretty simple. It, it's, it's a sliding bullet weight, so the bullet weight slides back and forth to the knot. And what it does is, when I reel this across the surface, you'll notice that the, the bottom of the crab is up high where I can see the intercept point because I can see that lighter color. And then I've got a J hook, which is a BKK. This is a six aught BKK hook. And I just simply swim it. Now the bullet weight, you're saying, well, isn't the bullet weight not gonna be on it? It will be on it. I'm gonna have that rod tip up high. So it's going to travel just underneath the surface, just like they see the crabs. And because the dark side is down, it's going to silhouette very well. So they're gonna see the silhouette as it comes by them. And if you cross them up at the perfect angle, that's important. You can't have it coming into them. It's gotta be kind of coming across their path, well in front of their path, and they've gotta come upon it so it looks like it's getting out of the way. One will cut out of the string and just pop it. So if you can rig something like this up, now I've only got 30 pound Power Pro Super Slick braid on this, but if you can rig something like this up, you're gonna have a lot of success. You know, my typical live crab rig is an 8,000 Saragossa. It's on an extra heavy uh, Terramar XX rod. I've typically got 30 or 40 pound Power Pro Super Slick V2 as the main line. And then generally I have about seven, eight feet of leader on those. And those are going to be like 50 pound um, fluorocarbon leaders. Uh, Bimneyed um, to, to the connection and and I'll, it, depending on the crab size, sometimes the hooks can only be four or five aught, and then sometimes they can be as much as six aught. Um, but I do use a six aught J hook on this because I get to see the eat. And as you could see uh, in the video, it looks pretty realistic when you're swimming it by the tarp. And I jumped a bunch of them last year on it. And uh, I just got these new redfish toads in and some of my Bloody Marys in. So I'm excited about throwing these a ton this year, especially uh, on the outgoing hilltides. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with it. But if you're around a bridge, if you're around 
um, any of the crab lines that you can get in uh, down there in Tampa Bay or Boca Grande. Try this if you've got lots of tarpon around. I think you're going to be surprised how effective it is. If tips like these are working out for you and you're catching fish and they're, you're really leveraging this knowledge and it's helping you, please subscribe. I want you to subscribe, share it with your friends, and become part of my classroom each and every week. We put dozens and dozens of videos out every month. So uh, you want to you wanna come here and learn something? I'm here to teach you everything you need to know about being a better inshore angler. Till next time, Captain CA, signing off.